for any mother, hearing their baby's first word is a momentous occasion. But for Emma Murray, it was a moment she thought would never happen with her youngest child Erin. When the two-year-old said Mummy, Emma, from Lanarkshire, Scotland, said it seemed like a miracle as her son was born with only the tiniest part of a brain. Just minutes after giving birth in 2013, Emma, 24, was told by doctors that Aaron had a very rare health condition known as holoprosencephaly, which they said left him incompatible with life. Aaron was born with only a brain stone, which allows him to breathe and move, but does not have a full brain. Emma was advised to invite her closest family to the hospital to meet her newborn boy before he passed away. But more than two years on, Aaron is not only alive but enjoys giggling and clapping his hands with his big brother, Jack, aged three. Aaron has amazed doctors so far with his survival, and the family were stunned when a few weeks ago, Aaron said mummy for the first time. Emma said, when Aaron was first born, I was told there was no way he could survive. I was told he might live for three minutes, three hours or three days. The doctors told me if it had been any of his other organs which had failed to grow, they would have been able to do something but they couldn't grow him another brain. But right from the very beginning, Aaron proved he is a real fighter. And I was saying mummy to him recently and clapping my hands and he was giggling away. He looked at me, and said mummy. I couldn't believe it. I'd been told my son would only live for a few minutes. But now here he was saying mummy which is something I never thought I would ever hear. Aaron was born in March 2013 after Emma was rushed to hospital with what she thought was a burst appendix. She said, I didn't know I was pregnant until I was in labor. With my older son, I had been in no doubt I was pregnant but with Aaron, I had only put on a little weight, I had no sickness or cravings and my periods hadn't stopped. My mum and dad rushed me to Monklands Hospital in the middle of the night, thinking I had an appendicitis. But as soon as the doctors and nurses examined me, they realised, I was about to give birth. Emma was transferred by ambulance to Wishaw General Hospital where staff quickly realised her unborn baby had a larger head than most infants. As soon as Aaron was born he was rushed to the neonatal unit. A brain scan carried out on Aaron had revealed only his brain stem had properly formed, and three hours later, she was told the hospital could only give him palliative care. He had holoprosencephaly, a birth defect affecting the brain which occurs in approximately 2 in 10,000 births. The condition can be mild or severe and in most cases, babies affected by the condition die before birth. Emma said, I was absolutely heartbroken. He was hooked up to every machine and had a hat over his head so we couldn't see the size of it. I just sat by his cot rubbing his little hand. I was in total shock. Everything had happened so fast, I didn't even know I was pregnant, I'd given birth and been told my baby was going to die all in the same 24 hours. Hospital staff helped Emma organize a baptism for her son. But within hours, Aaron's condition started to improve and they realized he could even breathe unaided. Emma said, for the first few days of Aaron's life, it felt like everyone was just waiting for something bad to happen but Aaron had other ideas. The doctors explained that Aaron's brain stem had developed, so he had limited functions. His internal organs worked and he could breathe, see and hear. It seemed like a miracle. The doctors told me that he would never survive, and he might only be with us for a matter of minutes of hours. But a week later he was still fighting. He was transferred to York Hill Royal Hospital for sick children where he had surgery to have a shunt fitted into his head to drain some of the fluid. After eight weeks at York Hill, he was allowed home and while he returns to hospital for regular checkups, he keeps well. She said, some days, we take one step forward and two steps back. But since he turned one, we have been taking more steps forward than back. And the most emotional moment came just six weeks ago when Erin amazed Emma by saying mummy for the first time. She said, I was just playing with him in my front room. 
he was lying on his back on the carpet and I was leaning over him clapping my hands, and saying mummy to him over and over, really drawing out the sounds. He was giggling, and then he said mummy. He had literally copied what I was saying. I just stared at him in shock, and then I just burst into tears. It was such an emotional moment. Since then he's also said hello a few times too. It really is remarkable. Emma said, we are planning a huge family get together, and Aaron will be so excited as he loves being with people. He loves opening presents. I'm getting him a Peppa Pig daddy, as he loves watching the program on TV.